What causes stillbirth? The cause of stillbirths can vary based on gestational age and underlying risk factors, though in some cases the cause is not known. In fact, a 2011 study found that in approximately one quarter of stillbirths, there is no known probable or possible cause. Here is an overview of the common causes of pregnancy loss after 20 weeks. Chromosomal abnormalities and birth defects. Chromosomal abnormalities are known to cause the majority of miscarriages, but certain chromosomal problems and birth defects can also increase the risk of stillbirth. Chromosomal abnormalities, especially those associated with anatomic abnormalities or birth defects, account for a high percentage of stillbirths. Intrauterine growth restriction. Intrauterine growth restriction, IUGR, is a condition where a fetus is significantly smaller than expected for the number of weeks of pregnancy. In severe cases, the condition can cause stillbirth or increased risk of newborn loss, perhaps because the baby is not getting adequate oxygen or nutrition. A pregnant person's health conditions and lifestyle can also increase the risk of intrauterine growth restriction. Healthcare providers screen for these problems during prenatal care. Some specific risk factors are preeclampsia, pregnancy-induced high blood pressure, and smoking in pregnancy. As part of standard prenatal care, Healthcare providers closely monitor fetal growth, which gives them the chance to intervene if a fetus appears at risk. Placental abruption and other obstetric complications. Placental abruption is a condition in which the placenta suddenly separates from the wall of the uterus during pregnancy while the fetus is still in the womb. This can happen because of a pregnant person's health conditions, trauma to the abdomen in later pregnancy, or structural abnormalities in the uterus. Lifestyle factors, such as smoking or substance use, can also increase the risk. Umbilical cord accidents. Cord accidents during pregnancy, such as a tight knot in the cord or the cord becoming too tightly wrapped around the baby's neck, are rare. About 10% of stillbirths are related to cord abnormalities. Pregnancies far past due date. Studies show that pregnancies past 42 weeks gestation are at increased risk for stillbirth perhaps because the placenta beings losing its ability to support the fetus. Medical conditions. Several medical conditions a pregnant person might have are also associated with an increased risk of stillbirth. This could be a condition that a person had before becoming pregnant or one that developed during pregnancy. Health conditions that might contribute to stillbirth include autoimmune conditions, such as lupus, certain blood clotting disorders, diabetes, high blood pressure, hypertension, obesity. If your pregnancy is complicated by any of these conditions, your healthcare provider might recommend additional testing and or delivery before your due date.